It's a big day in Tallahassee. The annual legislative session is now underway. Lawmakers are set to tack several controversial proposals over the next 60 days. And to kick off the occasion, Governor Ron DeSantis just delivered the State of the State Address within the last hour. News 6's Ezzy Castro listened in on that and joins us now live in studio. And Ezzy, the governor's speech comes as he prepares for the Iowa caucus next week. Justin, the governor is not only making the race for the White House, but today's focus is on Florida, tackling multiple topics, including his $114 billion budget proposal, immigration and education. We have earned rankings of number one for education, number one for education freedom, number one for parental involvement in education, number one for talent development, number one for public higher education, number one for domestic in-migration for the third consecutive years, number one in new business formations. The governor's budget recommends more than $1.1 billion in tax relief for Florida families. The package focuses on reducing the cost of homeowners insurance and sales tax holidays. As for Florida schools, education was a top concern again. DeSantis is also recommending spending $27.8 billion for the Florida Education Finance Program, which is the main funding formula for public schools and voucher programs. And of course, he is pushing for more teacher pay. We have also provided historic support for our school teachers. Over the past four years, we've invested a record $3 billion solely for the purpose of raising teacher pay. My budget proposal for this year includes another $1.25 billion for even more pay increases. And these initiatives are important because they help us recruit and retain great teachers. And lawmakers will be going over 1,600 bills during the 60-day session. And we want to know what issues matter to you. Scan the QR code on your screen and tell us in the article breaking down the 10 biggest issues facing Central Floridians. Bridget.